हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन वर्चुअल क्लासरूम स्टैंडर्ड इलेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश टुडे इन कंटिन्यूएशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फर्स्ट पोएम फ्रॉम सेकंड सेक्शन टाइटल्ड एज चेरी ट्री रिटन बाय द ग्रेट पोएट रस्किन बॉन्ड ऑन टेक्स्ट बुक पेज नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड सिक्सटी सेवन इन द अर्लियर वर्चुअल लेक्चर दैट इज in the first part of the poem we have studied ice breakers activities and vocabulary of the poem for better understanding now in continuation today we are going to study the summary of the poem stanza wise now let's try to know about the poet first the name of the poet is ruskin bond name of the poem is cherry tree born on may 19 1934 in kasoli himachal pradesh india now he lives in landore in masuri uttarakhand with his adopted family his nationality is indian he completed his education at bishop cotton school in simla He is an Indian author in British descent. He is also called as children's author and a top novelist. Genre: He has created nearly thirty short stories for children. Has written novellas, poems, and essays. Ruskin Bond received many awards and honors, especially. साहित्य अकेडमी अवॉर्ड इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइंटी टू फॉर अवर ट्रीज स्टिल ग्रो इन दहरा एंड ऑल्सो अवॉर्डेड विथ पद्मश्री अवॉर्ड इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड नाइंटी नाइन एंड पद्म भूषण इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन द रूम ऑन द रूफ वॉज रस्किन बॉन्ड्स फर्स्ट नॉवेल रिटन वेन ही वॉज सेवेंटीन नाउ students in front of you on the slide you have various kinds of books written by ruskin bond for example the room on the roof getting granny's glass then angry river etc so these are all the famous books or the famous work created by ruskin bond okay now let's try to learn the paraphrase of the poem first of all we are going to study first stanza then we are going to see the summary of it 8 years have passed since i placed my cherry seed in the grass must have a tree of my own i said and watered it once and went to bed and forgot but cherries have a way of growing though no one's caring very much or knowing and suddenly that summer near the end of may i found a tree had come to stay it was very small five months child lost in the tall grass running wild goats ate the leaves the grass cut a scythe split it apart and a monsoon blight shriveled the slender stem even so so students cherry tree is a poem about the ecstasy of the poet over a cherry plant which he has seeded 8 years ago in the poem bond expresses his wonder at the way of nature and how it takes care of itself to survive against all odds 8 years ago the poet planted a cherry seed out of whim to have a plant of his own must have a tree of my own the young poet watered it daily but was unaware of the fact that cherry plant needs other special care too to grow into a healthy tree in spite of getting any special attention by the end of the may 
the poet saw the small cherry sapling coming out of the ground it was a very small plant young and fragile vulnerable to all kinds of external dangers tall wild grasses grew all around it and the goats ate its leaves and then one day the grass cutter's blade mercilessly split it apart its tender stem also bravely fought the heavy monsoon and even after all these the poet saw new shoots growing out of it as the young tree made its struggle against nature to survive and fiercely made on an upward thrust to get light and air and sun stanza number 2 second stanza next spring i watched three three new shoots grow the young tree struggle upward thrust its arm in fresh fierce lust for light and air and sun i could only wait as one who watched wondering while time and the rain made a miracle from green growing pen i went away next year spent a season in kashmir came back thinner rather poor but reached by a cherry tree at my door 6 feet high my own dark cherry and i could scarcely believe it a berry ripened it and jeweled in the sun hung from a branch just one and next year there were blossoms small pink fragile quick to fall at the merest breath the slipest breeze the poet could now just wait and watch while he took pleasure on seeing his small cherry plant blossoming into a tree as time and the rain nourished it and like a miracle the tree grew too stubborn to give up then it was time for the poet to bid adieu to his beloved beloved tree as he went to kashmir to spend a season there the poet returned after a few months poor in health and heart but was overjoyed to find a 6 feet high dark cherry tree at his doorstep to his disbelief he saw a small berry fruit hanging from a branch hung from a branch just one a small little pink and fragile berry that could fall at the single stir of wind stanza number 3 i lay on the grass at ease looking up through leaves at the blue blind sky at the finches as they flew and flitted through the dappled green while bees in an ecstasy drank of nectar from each bloom and the sun sank swiftly and the stars turned in the sky and moon moths and singing crickets and i yes i praised night and stars and tree that small the cherry grown by me in his ecstasy the poet lay on the grass whole day at leisure to look up to the cherry tree as the finches flew past and birds flocked in and out of the tree and the bees drank nectar from each bloom soon it was dark and stars lit the whole night sky and the moon moths and crickets sang as the poet overjoyed the rapture of nature and felt himself akin with it he marveled at his own creation the small cherry plant that has grown into a big tree over the span of 8 years in the ending couplet the poet associates himself with the nature and creator as he takes pride for being part of it yes i praised night and stars and tree that small the cherry grown by me cherry tree is therefore the poet's reminiscing about the ways of nature as it participate in the process of creation the struggle of each living object for the upward thrust 
to fight and survive despite all odds the macrocosm journey towards the macrocosm so students i hope you have enjoyed the poem cherry tree in pictorial format thus today we have studied the poem and its meaning stanza wise now we will learn appreciation of the poem and poetic devices in the next virtual lecture that is in part 3 till then happy learning thank you